Coming up today on Designing DFW, we spring forward from homes to gardens to spring break. Designing DFW brought to you in part by Grand Lux Magazine, culture, society, and lifestyle. Hello everybody, I'm Jocelyn White and welcome to this edition of Designing DFW. It is time to spring forward, and I mean that literally, from the changing ahead of the clock this weekend to spring break to the season officially arriving on March 20th, we do have spring on our minds. And a great place to enjoy spring and every other season of the year, our set location today, this beautiful home at 6644 Spring Valley Road in Dallas. This almost 10,000 square foot home has six bedrooms, over eight baths, seven fireplaces, a pond, a putting green, a heated infinity pool with a slide. You never have to leave home to go on spring break here. The asking price, $4,695,000. Contact Lisa Besserer at Briggs Freeman for more details. And speaking of Briggs Freeman Sotheby's, we turn to Robbie Briggs for a little bit on the state of real estate in North Texas. What kind of trends are we seeing in the Dallas-Fort Worth market? People are looking at ranches and uh, they're using it for corporate retreats, they're using it for entertainment, they're using it just for uh, lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And uh, so uh, uh, we're seeing a lot of activity probably within three hours of the Metroplex in each direction because eventually all that is developable land. Robbie's next big project, the auction of Champ d'Or, that magnificent estate in Hickory Creek. It will be in conjunction with Concierge's auction and the listing price, 35 million. It will go for at least 10.3 million, which is the reserve. And now we travel to Las Colinas for another home that you can own. It's listed with Pete and Susie Ryan. Now he won't let us say his name, but it belongs to a b-baller with a $55 million contract. He and his family are moving to a bigger space so you could own this place. Tell me a little bit about this house. Well, this house is a very unique piece of property. It's located in the enclave at Las Colinas on the TPC Golf Course of Four Seasons, uh, home of the Byron Nelson. It has an absolutely fabulous view. You can see the uh, Four Seasons Hotel and the uh, uh, sports club. The finish out and all of the upgrades in this house are spectacular. Uh, the owner uh, spared no expense in upgrading to all the finest appliances, hardware, cabinets, countertops. It also has an elevator a uh, thousand bottle wine cellar that's chilled. One of the bedrooms downstairs with, near the exercise room has a steam shower. He spent an extra of approximately three to four hundred thousand dollars upgrading his home when he bought it. It's got the lap pool, the hot tub, the babbling brook. Yes, you've got the babbling brook out here that runs 24 hours a day. It's just a fabulous uh, environment and a beautiful home. The security is a huge feature for a lot of people who live uh, very private lives because that's important to them and they, you know, get the security that they need and there's no people just wandering the streets here. You have to be, you know, admitted in and out. There are also play areas for children and walking paths. Uh, so it's just a total environment for very secure, comfortable living. What's the price? $2,100,000. It's a bargain great house. The staging in the home was done by Area 25, which also is an amazing consignment store on Lover's Lane. Still to come, our designing Texan with one of his favorite homes, our Texan outdoors, talking water, all that and more after we check in with Linda. There's nothing better than a little retail therapy while taking in the fresh air of spring. I'm Linda Cooper and this shopping is my cardio gets you out of those dreary malls and into boutique hopping along Lover's Lane. Our first stop, Hemline. Fun clothes and accessories to update your spring wardrobe. 
Here at Hemline, you will find a style for everybody, the current trends of the season, and anything you know that makes the woman feel confident in what they put on. When we buy for the store, we're, we, what we have in mind is buying for all women, women of all ages, women that can feel comfortable with what they're putting on, but also be trendy. And we want, we want all, the, all our women that shop here to be confident and love what they wear. And so we always have that in mind whenever we're on buying trips. We're so excited about spring because it's all about color. You know, we've got the, the bold colors like coral, royal blue, and we also are into colored denim as well as prints. With today's trends and things that go in and out so fast, it's really important to have the affordable prices along with the higher end lines for the people that might have a special occasion. Ooh, these great colors. Yeah, for spring. <gasps> oh, I love this one. Yes, that is gonna be a great spring color, very vibrant. Perfect, let's try it on. Okay. So these are great. Yes. Isn't that gorgeous? Yes. Coral is a great color for spring. Yes, and obviously we both know that because we're both yeah. wearing it today. <laughs> well, let's try this one on for okay. sure. Such a great evening bag. Yes, okay, mine. <laughs> We have a lot of cool things going on in the spring and we'd love to welcome you to Hemline. Yeah, come shop with us and let us help you with your wardrobe for this upcoming season. Next, Bellini for beautiful baby decor. Bellini furniture has been around 25 years and what makes it stand out amongst the other furniture lines is that it's built to last, it's quality furniture and it converts from infant to toddler, toddler beds to youth beds. So they really are built to last. We offer custom bedding, which allows you to customize it however you want, which means that no two nurseries will be the same. Now you get to pick the fabric, you get to pick the bumper, you get to pick the style, ties, skirt. It's really a fun process to go through when you're picking out your baby's nursery. Our Bellini store carries upholstered custom gliders. They're very popular from the traditional wood gliders, which we also carry. Now when you come in to pick a glider, there are so many choices to try out. You have to sit in each one of them because each chair is different. <sighs> this one is just right. These are great baby gifts. These customized baby books have been so popular. People come in all the time to buy them because you get to pick and customize it to match your nursery in the colors, the fabric. You get to pick the name or initials like yours, ribbons. What a great keepsake. So when you're shopping for your baby and designing your nursery, please stop by Bellini because we would love to help you design that one-of-a-kind nursery for you and your family. Mm, it wouldn't be springtime without flowers. Our final destination, Dr. Delphinium. We primarily are a flower shop, so we have, you know, you walk in, you see all kinds of cut flowers everywhere. Oh, heaven. We also have a greenhouse and we have tons of orchids. There are thousands of varieties of orchids and these are just a few of them, oh obviously. Gosh. And I've never seen this kind before. Isn't that great? It's beautiful, it's, what is it? It's a pansy orchid. And we actually have a social event division and then we have a corporate division as well. Um, and I lead up the social side um, with the weddings and then we have a corporate side who handles all the offices and all of their ongoing events. So I know when a Dr. Delphinium truck pulls up, I know it's gonna be an impressive arrangement. It will, it will. Yeah, we're known for that. Uh, we just have been around so long and, and our designers have been here equally as long. And so they're just really adept in our style, especially in events. I mean, we're not stuck in one specific style. So we, we like to branch out and do different looks, but our designers are great. Okay, so what do you use these for? Do a lot of people request them? Um, 40th birthday parties. <laughs> ah, I love it. <laughs> One of the things that we pride ourselves on is customer satisfaction, uh, customer service. We want to make sure that all of our customers are happy. We love our customers and we love new customers, so come and see us. We're right in uh, University Park on Lover's Lane in the Tollway. We can help you with any fresh flower and or plant or gift need. A successful day shopping always adds a spring to my step. Be sure to check out my blog to get all the insider scoop on today's stores. I'm Linda Cooper. We'll see you next time on Shopping is My Cardio. Designing DFW continues as we go outdoors with our Texan Outdoors talking smartscapes. But first, designing Texan Gary Riggs with one of his favorite homes for favorite clients. This is the fourth main residence that Gary Riggs has put together for these particular clients. That's in addition to two vacation homes. 
Over the years, he has designed and refined all of their furnishings and accessories. Kind of the key to this project was that very thing that, you know, there were so many beautiful pieces that had been done and so it was more a, a um, challenge of wanting to put it, pull it all together in a new environment, uh, repurposing and using things in different ways than what we had used it in the other home. So it became almost like everything was brand new in the house. The space here, square footage wise, isn't as great, but it feels large because of that reason. It's more open and, and so it allowed for all of the living space really to kind of be incorporated and everything, you know, just came together really good. The master bedroom actually just came together so well and we used a lot of the same things in there, but we brought in things that were used in other parts of the house as well and then we added a couple of things. We were able to use the same coloration, uh, but changed the wall color and made that very rich and uh, warm and it ended up just, I think, really turning out great. Uh, the boys' room, basically we brought over and we had to uh, arrange it differently because of the way the walls are laid out. In there we added just a couple of things and then we had to eliminate a couple of things, but it again came together really well for him. And then her bedroom, from where we were in the other house, you know, she's a little girl and now she's a young lady and um, she wanted her room to be different colors and that from what it was. And so uh, she said she wanted yellow and green room and so the walls are a mixture of the yellow and the green and put together in a blended way that we do. And so it has kind of a shadowy feel, but just almost neon. And then with that black and white trim and everything, it just ended up being the, oh, it just turned out so fun. In this home, the game room opens right up into the media room, so it makes it all kind of like one big space. The great room downstairs is the main living space. It comes off the grand foyer into a cozy living area, plus kitchen and morning room. Well, the goal was to have it be really comfortable, and so we brought all the comfortable seating into here and, and then wanted it to, you know, work well uh, with the breakfast area and that, and we, uh, we changed the breakfast area from round to the rectangular table because it fit the space better and uh, made that all work just a little bit nicer. And then there's kind of that little morning area in the, in the kitchen that, you know, where you can sit and visit if, you, if somebody's in there cooking. What happened for them was is that they ended up with a home that they liked every bit as much as the other one, if not more. And I think for them, from what they've told me, is that they just really feel comfortable and that like, okay, it was okay to move and, and you know, worth the headache that comes from everything that comes from moving and all of that. So. I'm really happy with it. I, and like I said, I, there's parts of this, I mean, I always will love the other home, but there's, there are parts of this that I really like. The real reward is from the people that you meet and it's that relationship that you build and, and you can kind of, um, you get to know people and their lifestyle and what it is that they enjoy and like. And uh, you know, for me, that's just the, I mean, that's the best thing about it. Hi, I'm Gene Freeman with Complete Land Sculpture and today we're gonna talk about Smartscapes. Since the month of March is Smartscape month, I'm going to share with you some ideas on how to design, install, and maintain your garden to look good even throughout some of our harshest conditions here in our area. Trying to maintain a traditional, non-drought tolerant landscape under harsh conditions requires large amounts of water and can get very expensive for our homeowners. By choosing to use plants and trees that have adapted to this region, we can enjoy beautiful flowers, shrubs, and trees not only in the spring, but year-round. While you're preparing for your spring landscape, consider a smartscaping or adding some of the elements of smartscaping and water conservation into your landscaping plan. There is a very large list of great smartscape plantings for blooms, color, texture, large and small, that can really impact the success in your garden and reduce care and water requirements dramatically. Seasonal cleanups are great for removing weeds and debris from your garden. During your cleanup, it's also a good time to prune or cut back liriope, ornamentals, perennials, and grasses. Trim your summer bloomers such as crepe myrtles, lantana, and other perennials that bloom in the summer at this time. While you're cleaning your beds, don't forget to check soil content and moisture levels. Native and adapted plants like many of these will really help reduce your water consumption about 80%. 
These plants will thrive and do extremely well even during the hottest months. Some of the things that are critical for us are insulating the ground areas around the plant material such as doing finely shredded hardwood mulch and a nice two to three inch barrier will help insulate these roots. Also in Smartscapes, we want to definitely go in here and design with the de decomposed granite because a nice great textural change and really looks wonderful. Uh, boulder rocks and then all the multicolor faceted Colorado River rocks, New Mexico River rocks kind of blended together around the landscape really sets it off and makes it pop nice. Finally, one of the keys to a great Smartscape and water conservation effort is having an efficient irrigation system. Professionals like Complete Land Sculpture's certified irrigation team can monitor your irrigation systems for leaks, clogs, and breakdowns and adjust the programming on your system. You may also want to look into the use of an automatic moisture sensor systems, which are great. These systems will trigger sprinkler operations only when soil moisture falls below a certain level and have saved our clients thousands of dollars on monthly water bills. A well thought out Smartscape landscape and outdoor living area is going to provide years of enjoyment even during the hottest of days. We're here at another project for our clients that are about to be completed and they're going to be very happy with all the sustainable low maintenance landscape that's gone into this Smartscape. Please visit us online at completelandsculpture.com for more great ideas on Smartscapes and water conservation. I'm Gene Freeman and hopefully today I've inspired you to start your Smartscape project and create your complete outdoor experience. Still ahead, deep in the heart with two of North Texas' leading ladies. And now, here's our Susie. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. Oh, Toto, there's no place like home. Oh my gosh, where am I? Am I still in Oz? Susie, oh. Susie, you're at There's No Place Like Home Furniture. There's No Place Like Home is a furniture brokerage store in Fort Worth uh, that carries over 550 manufacturers for furniture, artwork, lighting, rugs, mattresses, accessories, anything you need for your home from floor to ceiling. Now I know this is a family business. Yes. How did it get started? Well, Susie, my granddaughter, at two years old, thought she was Dorothy, and she actually named the store There's No Place Like Home. How perfect, and you know, it is absolutely the perfect name because our home is where our heart is. Exactly. So tell me, what was your inspiration for the store? By ordering direct from over 500 manufacturers, any style furniture for any room, I can save my customers anywhere 40, 50, 60, even more uh, percent. I deal with over 100 lines of accessories. This sofa that we're on comes from a custom upholstery manufacturer out of California. This is Robert Michael. You choose the frame style, you choose all the pillow fabrics and cushion fabrics. This would retail for anywhere from $3,500 to around $4,000. But if there's no place like home, it's $8.99. So Abby, tell us a little bit about the manufacturers that you carry. Well, Susie, with over 550 different manufacturers, I can't mention all of them, but we carry just about every look for your home. From modern to traditional, you get it all right here. Exactly. Awesome. So tell people where they can come find you. We're located at the Foch Street Warehouses, actually at 855 Foch Street, near downtown Fort Worth, right off 7th Street. Wonderful. Do you mind showing me some furniture? No, let's take a look. Well, let me get shopping. Wonderful. From no place like home, like being at home right here at the Old Hickory Steakhouse here in the Gaylord Texan. And with me today is award-winning chef Joanne Bondi. Welcome to our show. Oh, well, thank you for having me. It's, it's an honor. Well, I'll tell you what. First of all, I want to get rather right gate about the James Beard House over in New York City. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, we're going in October, October 7th. We're going to cook an amazing meal with Palmas Wines, Argentinian flair. So we're very excited to be back up there and cook for the foundation. Now, I know you do something with kids. Let's get it out. This summer, come back and see me. We have Junior Chef's Camp. You'll have a blast. Wonderful. We check can, it out. We can check that out on our website. But what are we cooking today? Habanero corn. We're going to start with a little bit of butter. Okay. Now you can make this dish so quickly. Roast your corn for about a half an hour. Okay, gonna put a little bit of onion in there. Yum. Make a little noise. Okay. Okay, you put the corn on in there. Yes. So I can go ahead and add a little cilantro. Well, get in there. Let's have okay, some Okay. Let's here. have some fun. I'll, I'll put some cilantro in there. I'll be your sous there. chef. You can put jalapenos. You can put serranos. Ooh, a little Any basil. Any chili couple you want. Yes. Oh, I'm basil. loving this. Okay. And then we just go ahead and stir Give that up. Give it a up. stir. 
All right, we're gonna serve this up. Now we can serve this with a great steak, is that correct, Jen? Well, I just happen to have a filet mignon mm -hmm. here. It, now I can tell you something, I know this sounds strange, but just add a little lemon juice. No, that sounds excellent. Pop that corn that, out. That's you, definitely Or you can add lime go. juice too. This looks so great, Chef Bondi. You know what, y'all come on down here to the Gaylord Texan at the Old Hickory Steakhouse and meet my friend Chef Bondi. I'm gonna go ahead and try it now, okay? Oh, I hope so, here you go. It's a winner. Here at Designing DFW, we believe in giving back to the community. So does Grand Lux Magazine. And so together, our mission is to showcase the charities and the women behind them in North Texas. A little later, you'll meet this month's cover girl, Lynn McBee. But first, next month's cover girl, Doris Jacobs. Doris may look like Kay Bailey Hutchison, but she is the queen of Park City's real estate. And Doris's favorite charity, the Women's Council of the Dallas Arboretum and the upcoming Mad Hatter's Tea. Mad Hatter's is a really exciting event and it benefits the Dallas Arboretum and Botanical Gardens. One year, someone won with a Kentucky Fried Chicken basket they had made into a, a hat and she got most original. From the location to timeless character, there's a lot to love about this Beverly Drive home. This room is one of your favorites. Yes, Why? Oh, I don't know. I just love the decor that we have here and all the collections. I think an original home with the plastered walls and uh, all the hardwoods and all the beautiful detailing. I was attracted to the stained glass windows and everything that was here. I love the convenience of it. We've enjoyed it. And then there's this month's cover, Lynn McBee. The Dallas International Film Festival begins in April, so what can we expect? From April 12 to 22, you can expect uh, 160 incredible films from all over the world, a lot of neat filmmakers, um, a lot of fun. The McBee's historic Miramar home was built in 1917. This is a home where inherited pieces and collectibles are treasured. This house was built in 1917, so it's one of the originals here in um, Highland Park. And I believe we're the third owner. We purchased it from my in-laws. And the feeling you get from this historic home? Old houses are, are, are warm. They've just got a, they've got so much history and they've had so many, this house has had a lot of parties and a lot of fun things and some not so fun things and you know, happy times and sad times. And If the and walls could talk. Since we are springing forward today and spring break is on many minds, we thought we'd find a place close to home to get away. And don't think we forgot the pets, either. From the grand entry, past the marina, over the duck crossing, to that first view of the hotel itself, Impressive barely begins to describe the Gaylord Texan Resort and Convention Center. Inside, as you can see, the hotel is even more spectacular. Home to awards galore, the holiday extravaganzas, conventions, weddings, and more, this is an amazing place. And Martha Niebling is the Director of Public Relations for the hotel, and we're going to talk about why it's a great spring break getaway, but first, describe the architecture. This atrium is amazing. Yeah, it is amazing, and when they designed it, they wanted to make sure that they showcased all of the regions of Texas. So when you're walking through, you'll notice, you know, Mission Plaza and Paladero Canyon and the Riverwalk. And so really when you come to this hotel, it's like you're taking a tour of throughout the whole Texas. State. Yeah. I love that. I love that. The Riverwalk. The Riverwalk. Yeah, it looks exactly like the San Antonio Riverwalk. So you take this grand staircase down, you see the waterways with koi fish. We have a great Tex-Mex restaurant there and really fun. We are very proud to be the official hotel of the Dallas Cowboys. So our team stays here every night before a home game. We have a great sports bar. It has a 52-foot HD TV screen and a tailgate patio. So something definitely to come see. Things that people can do when they're here on spring break, besides walk around and see all the great stuff there yeah, is to see yeah. and eat the wonderful food. Yeah, it's really endless. You know, we have great award-winning restaurants. We have a world-class spa. There's retail shops that are, you know, just really fun to go inside. Um, we have a nightclub with great decks that overlook Lake Grapevine and then a brand new 10-acre outdoor pool complex. It's really, really fun. 
It's western themed, just like everything that's inside the hotel. And it has a 600 foot long lazy river, a 6,000 square foot family lagoon, a 27 foot tall winding water slide. So it really is fun for kids and, and the grown ups too. Lots of people love to come here over the holidays with ice and all of that, but now we've got spring break extravaganza yeah. with everything else yeah. you have going this on. Yeah, this is definitely the place um, to come enjoy a spring break destination because you come and it's like you've entered a whole other world with all of these things to do and fun activities except 